All right, I'm going to be installing Ham Radio Deluxe on my Linux Mint 19.3 Cinnamon operating system. Going to all accessories, and I'm going to scroll down here to Software Manager. I'm going to go up here in the menu in the upper right hand corner. And um, I'm going to show you a program application that I installed already that you'll need to install. The version of Ham Radio Deluxe that I have is for Windows operating systems. So I'm going to install, well, I have installed Wine. Here's my current operating system. So once you have Wine installed, uh, you're able to install Windows programs. This one is Ham Radio Deluxe for Windows. Go ahead and drag it onto my desktop. Icons and folders might look different in Linux when they're Windows, of course. But let's see what happens here. Go ahead and launch this. Right-click it. And we're going to open it in Wine. And we'll just go through the motions here. Okay. Go ahead and uh, get ready to install it here. Okay, let's see what happens. Be nice to have the both the best of both worlds here, Linux and Ham Radio Deluxe. Okay, wow. Let's uh. Go ahead and launch it. And it looks so far like it's working. Menus are working. Drop downs are opening. I don't have a radio hooked up right now. But we will hook up a ICOM IC746. Yeah, it opened. And we'll also hook up a ICOM 706 here in a moment, but let's just make sure everything is functioning. And so far it seems like everything in the menus is popping up and working properly. So let me go get um, a radio and I'll hook it up to the computer here and hopefully I have a Ham Radio Deluxe on my Linux computer because Ham Radio Deluxe is really good for radios that might have poor screen 
uh, resolution or kind of losing their screen or any screen problems. And it's just nice to use in general, but um, we'll test it out on some ICOMs right now and see. Okay, we've got it installed. It's dropped its ICOM on my desktop. And um, I'll go ahead and restart the computer and hook up a radio. Let's check that out. All right, I'm going to go through some stuff in the menu and try to set up some stuff I like. So far, everything seems to be working. What I thought I'd do is going to try to get it set up for CW. So far, everything seems to be working good. The radio that I have hooked up to it uh, doesn't have a speaker. So when I hook it up to um, Ham Radio Deluxe, I'm able to uh, go through the uh, sound card. But uh, I'll make another video and we'll do some uh, CW.